Hello YouTubers and Molly community. Pokestars back in with another video. I haven't done much on the Ford. But uh since uh Sunday it's kind of the same since I last did the video. But my knee's been killing me so I'm going to work Monday and walked around with the knee and it felt like an ice pick into my knee on the right inner side so I uh, stood home today and went to therapy and got some inflammation pills and my knee kind of popped and I felt something flip and I'm like oh my god that hurt and at the same time it was a big relief because now there's very little pain so still keeping my knee brace on and uh, just to keep things together, so to speak. But, uh, so I had a little time today to sort of relax, you know, after hours and hours and hours of weeks and weeks of pain. I think what happened was when I was working on my suspension, uh, replacing the ball joints and the bushings in the control arm, I uh, over it overworked my knee by bending and squatting and bending and squatting trying to get these uh, control arms loose and bushings pressed in and using my legs to lift this up and lift that up and I think my hurt something in my le left knee so uh, Monday I was going up a little uh, step stool get up onto a window cart which is like five feet off the ground and uh, I just couldn't take it no more, so I'm like, ah, screw it. I'm going to go to a doctor and get things looked at. So anyways, that's what I did. I'm all better now, and I feel like running down the street and running back and doing some jumping jacks and doing some exercises. But I'm here at the bench. So uh, I went into my storage shed out back. Look for the interior tub for this because I have an interior tub, a partial frame for the uh, hauler, uh, windows, chrome, and uh, the rear axles. I haven't stretched the frame out. And so I was digging through all the other stuff and this is what I'm, what else I'm working on. I'm kind of in a truck phase and pro street phase right now so I just did this here an hour and a half ago. Took a regular cab, cut the back out, and I turn it into a 55 Pro Street panel. I'm gonna do the back end a little different. I'm gonna do like a suburban flip up door and the tailgate drop down. Instead of having the double doors. So, uh, that's what I chopped up today. Add some styrene plastic and did the roof and start doing the sides. And this is the other one. I did this one a few years back. I kept the hood, the stock style hood. I just added the uh, height below the headlights and it's not as big as this one where I raised the hood and everything up from the body line upward let me see if I can get a better side shot so that's the other 55 truck hauler I'm building I'll use this 55 to Set on a hauler. Still a lot of stuff I'm making for that 55. So from the 55 Ford that I see everybody doing the USAC build on, and the Pro Mod, still working on a chassis for this. So I'm adding one, two, 
three, four projects to my already wild and crazy uh, custom 55 and 55 panel pro mod. So I'm going to start putting the interior to that together, get everything where I want it, rear seat, bucket seats for the front, center console, the engine bay, chassis. Uh, this is just a little bit longer than stock, so this is going to be pretty wild. And same with that one. Anyways, just when uh, I thought things were going to get a little easier, I just put a whole lot more on my plate. And plus I got the uh, the red Yanko 69 Nova to build. <coughs> That's where, where I'm at right now. All these projects, a lot of scratch building. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Scratch building 95% of this uh, body from the door back. Gotta do some body work, straighten out the body lines a little bit. And it should be uh, ready for primer. Well, y'all have a good uh, Tuesday evening, and uh, see you on the next video. Hopefully, y'all have that puppy primer, this one primer, that one. I'm not sure if I'm going to mold this in like I did that one. I'll probably mold it in or not. I'll probably run a running board at an angle. We'll see see how it goes here. I might have to raise the rear window up a little bit. I don't know. I just might leave it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for checking out the builds. And uh, stay tuned for even more crazier stuff coming up. I'm just getting started. Be safe out there, everybody. Happy modeling.